This week on the Cruising Kiwis, we welcome the Atkins family. We swim with mantas. And everyone goes off dragging when they see the catch of the day. Oh, it's a couple of days since we broke our rudder. Um, I've been talking to Rob, who's still in New Zealand, and also to the people from the marina here. It turns out, I mean, it's bad, but it's not as bad as we anticipated, in that the part of the rudder that's broken off is the sacrificial part of the rudder. So it's designed to give way under pressure to protect the rest of the rudder. So we can go sailing. I mean, it's not uh, ideal, but we can go sailing, we've got people arriving in a couple of days. We can take them sailing, do their holiday, not disappoint them. And then I've booked us in to be hauled out when they leave and we'll get our repairs done then. But first we needed to reprime the engine's saltwater intake, which had drained while the rudder had the starboard hull sitting out of the water. And we needed to get the furling Genoa fixed, although the job couldn't be completed because the wrong replacement part had been shipped out to us. We also moved the boat across the marina, however this new berth came with its own complications. Rob Hamill is in the building and he's brought the Atkins family with him. But before we can introduce them, Rob has to retrieve his phone from the bottom of the marina. Because he, unfortunately he dropped it as he walked over the wobbly gangplank. Like that. It would have gone down on an angle probably. So. See it? Oh, it's muddy. Oh no! It's fine. Fine. Uh, I wonder what I can use. Talk. Wait. He's in the water. He's got it. Yeah, he's in there. Is it waterproof? Yeah, it's a waterproof. The phone is waterproof. But I don't know that it's waterproof for long. Oh, thank God. We've got to be really careful, let's just scan the floor, don't touch the floor. Sorry. Be very careful with your flippers going up, don't kick. Ah! I'm in a hurry, I'm going to drag your toes on deck and leave there. Oh, he got it! Yay! Success! Success! Success. Success. Okay. <laughs> don't drop again. So, no? we have a couple of uh, guests on board. Malian and Sky. And Ken. Yeah. We're taking a drink between all the work I'm being done. Welcome board, Ken. And we have Freya and Matilda on board. Eating ice cream! We immediately put the Atkins to work to earn their keep by getting them to help the riggers replace the now complete force day and accompany us on a morning run. So we're going on the morning run. Rob's just stretching, getting ready. And look at the troops. We said who wants to go for a run and they all put their hand up after they'd been threatened. Usain Hamill has left the boat. And there they come. There they go. The others are way, 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 way up there. Up in the distance. Down the, oh, you can just about see them. Then it was goodbye Bunda Marina, hello Musket Cove, with a side order of dragging on the way there. Finn assisting Matilda's introduction to the sport. <laughs> What have you got there? 50 big ones. 50 big ones? How come you've got 50 big ones? I found it in the pool. Who had lost it in the pool? Yeah. <laughs> It does. Fancy. 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 Look fancy. fancy. Looks like my kind of place. It does look like your kind of place. Yeah. Fancy's your kind of main stay, isn't it? Main, isn't it? Everything's fancy in your life. <laughs> fancy man. Especially your man. 
Have you met I did once, I didn't like him. <laughs> Too fancy for you. Too fancy for me. We bid Musket Cove goodbye and headed to Navandra Island where we dropped anchor overnight. Next morning we were on a mission to see manta rays. Heading up to the uh, Sawas, or we're heading up to where the manta rays are. Hopefully we're not too late. Apparently the manta rays are leaving, well, it's the end of the season, so... I don't, I don't think they'll go until after lunch though. I think they'll, they'll hang they'll, off until after well, lunch. Well, they want to feed, don't they? Get, get away. They yeah, well, I would, but it's on their pack. I know. I'll, well, I'll you seem they're pretty hungry that time of day, like yeah. us. Yeah. Hello, Vera. Hello, Vera. Hello, Vera. <laughs> <laughs> We're funny. <laughs> We're so funny, man. It's like it's laugh. Oh. laugh. Before, you, before the head saw was laughing. Yeah, it was. So we sort of did it. We didn't have none of that. People from the nearby resort already in the water was a sure sign that the mantas were still around. What you gonna say that I don't know already slow and stay but I don't see a smile upon you I see you frowning While you justify imaginary status in your mind Within the status quo your thoughts confine We are the blind, we lead the blind A juxtaposed society We hop back on Javelo and sail north for Nanuya Island, better known as Blue Lagoon. In the afternoon, the winds got bigger and the fish got smaller. We're having fish tonight! What is that? That's not that? It's not that big. It's not that big, no. Just gently, just... It's not a fish. It is a fish. It's definitely a fish. What big is it? What's that? Jeez! Oh! It's a shark! Got it! A shark oh. ate it! Oh! It's a beautiful trevally! That was a brilliant trevally! And the shark just nailed it! Whoa! Oh, real! Not much left for us! Just ahead. Whoa. Now we know there's a shark out there. Anybody want to go dragging? It was too rough for dragging, but just right for this. Of course, we did regular head counts to make sure everyone was still on board. At the stern of the boat, we hooked another fish. Rob and Ken suspected it may be carrying cigatera, a flu-like illness that you get from eating reef fish, unless you are a local and have built up a resistance. They decided to ask for advice from someone at Blue Lagoon. We've caught this fish and we've been uh, angsting about whether this is an edible fish or not. So we took it into the restaurant here at the uh, Blue Lagoon Resort. They said, oh yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's snapper, that's sea bass. I said, yeah, it's edible. And they said, no secretary, no secretary. So then we tried to sell it to the chef. Because <laughs> we got a bit nervous. <laughs> got nervous. The chef would never borrow it. So I've come up with another idea. And there's a lovely organic farmer around the corner here. We're going to go and visit tomorrow. And we might do an exchange. Organic vegetables, vegetables for fish. And fruit for fish. Next morning, lay in with chilled filleted fish. Rob, Ken, Freya and Ivan headed to the organic farm. This is Rob's idea of heaven, but it's always dangerous sending him on a shopping mission, as he tends to buy food no one else likes. Today was no exception. So we're off to the farm, the actual vegetable farm. I don't eat fish here, they eat lamb. I eat lamb here. 
couple of wild species up ahead of us. Uh -huh, we're getting close to the gardens now. These are tomatoes, some tomatoes here and some up there. So we pick those? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Just, just take whatever you need. Okay, thank you. And I'll you. sort it out later. Don't you see? You just twist them. Nice. And that's it. This is the green coconut. These are so good. Do you have any noni? Yeah. You have noni? Yeah. Ah, we love noni, don't we, kids? Kids are dying to try some. Yes, please. Yeah, we love noni. <laughs> yeah. How do you eat this, noni? Um, we normally put it in a plastic. Yeah. And uh, the juice we is the one we Seep drink. Out. Yeah. Oh, okay. We drink. You don't eat the fish? Uh, no. Why not? We we can eat it too, but you can, yeah, you can. But it tastes pretty. Yeah. Bad. But, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Mm. What's good about it? Everything. It's really good for you. It's, it's good for you. Ah. Oh, so it doesn't taste good. It smells like blue cheese, doesn't it, to me? Back on the boat, Declan did the noni challenge as well. today. Absolutely free because nobody else eats it. <laughs> Next time on the Cruising Kiwis, we visit Lowe's Tea House. Yeah. Hola. Hola. Rob goes out of his comfort zone. I don't mind taking risks, actually. You know yeah, that. and that's why I'm so surprised you didn't want to do it. <laughs> quite happy to and we unwind on cloud nine. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and commenting. We really enjoy reading what you have to say. So if you have any questions, we try to answer every single one of them. Thanks.